The PS5 has a ton of great games, such as Demon's Souls, and all the PS4 games you never got around to playing. They got him! They got him! But now, after a six-month dry spell, Sony has released an exclusive so bold and so challenging that the 10 people who actually own a PS5 aren't sure they want to pay $70 for it. Returnal. It's Groundhog Day! It's Groundhog Day in space, starring Brienne of Tarth as Samus, with a script written by H.P. Lovecraft. Oh. Mm -hmm. From the developers who didn't make Metroid Prime, Ratchet and Clank, Enter the Gungeon, PT, or Doom Eternal, but really, really liked them. Although, the thing Housemark apparently likes the most is diarrhea Christmas lights. Watching my boyfriend play Returnal was like watching a mind-bending sci-fi movie while the entire front row threw Skittles and Red Vines at me. Whoa. This is hands down the most insane look at the booty shooty I've ever seen. Whoa. Whoa. This game is awesome. What the I can't imagine how people actually do it, and apparently not a lot of people can or even want to try. Well, according to this Housemark employee who popped into our Twitch stream, its girlfriend reviews fault the game is so hard because they added extra diarrhea Christmas lights just for me. They also said they'd be disappointed if I didn't make fun of their game. So, on behalf of raging gamers everywhere, this isn't a review of Returnal. This is a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays the first level of Returnal over and over and over. I've made a huge mistake. And over. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. All right, full disclosure, my boyfriend actually beat Returnal relatively quickly with just 18 deaths. How are you not murdered every hour? I can finally say thank God I'm dating a real gamer guy because it only took about 10 deaths to make me want to punch Ned Ryerson in the face. Allow me to explain. You know Edge of Tomorrow, Happy Death Day, Russian Doll, Happy Death Day to You, the duck part of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas, Source Code, Palm Springs, and the end of Doctor Strange? Okay, well I'm Dormammu, Returnal is the time stone, and my boyfriend has come to bargain for another four hours of TV time because you can't save your progress in this f***ing game. Set me free! No. If you want to play something else, or simply turn off your PlayStation, the punishment is literally death. Oh no! Oh, I'm going back in. <laughs> you could be having the best run of your life when a friend invites you to a war zone lobby and Returnal will say, You better not! You better not! You can put the PS5 into rest mode if you need a break, but the problem is that all your anxiety about dying to tentacle porn won't go away, it'll just turn into anxiety about dying to a power surge. I mean, the housemark devs deciding who amongst them shall carry the guilt of sending out an auto-update that kills millions of players in their sleep has got to feel like this. I don't want to discourage anyone from trying Returnal because it honestly deserves second place on my list of best time loop stories, and I can't think of a better video game genre to adapt that film genre than roguelike. Didn't you get the news? We're about to die. It doesn't matter. I die all the time. Housemark connected the dots between a cliche movie mechanic and a run-of-the-mill game mechanic to design an experience that innovates on both fronts. Well, oh wow. my god! What? I've watched my boyfriend play many of the most popular roguelike games, and it's the the slow progression achieved through repetitive resetting that always had me struggling to stay invested like This idea hasn't gripped me. Yet Returnal managed to capture my attention long enough to witness multiple endings by rewarding failure with new narrative breadcrumbs to discover as Samus, I mean Selene, follows in her own footsteps across an ever-changing alien world. These breadcrumbs ranged from well-acted audio logs right out of Bioshock to full-blown first-person cinematic chills right out of a Hideo Kojima nightmare. Yeah, what's that? Ah! Oh, this is spooky now. Yeah! What the f I don't like that, gave me chills. Either way, they're guaranteed to make you say, Thank you for that shockingly dark update. Celine's character arc and the reason she's trapped in this bullet hellscape are mysteries solved with the well-polished detail I've come to expect from Sony exclusives. Oh. That's why it's easily my favorite roguelike of all time. 
the reason it's my boyfriend's favorite roguelike of all time is it's the third person Super Metroid that Daddy Nintendo never gave him. Oh yeah, I mean this this game is 100% a Metroid. What the? And he wants anyone who's on the fence to know that basically when the game starts, you'll feel optimistic like Everybody knows that the best way to learn is under intense life threatening pressure. Until 30 seconds into the first boss when you realize I'm going to die. Then when you do indeed die, Will Smith shows up to say, It's rewind time. And that's the exact point you'll remember. This costs $70 and think, Well, yeah. Gravity in my situation just set in. But keep going, because the more you play, the crazier your powers become. The combat is so intense, my boyfriend's body actually jostles around like he's on Star Tours at Disneyland. Dodging laser boogers, about to buy a seatbelt for the couch. It gets extra ridiculous with the DualSense controller just screaming at you. <laughs> I'm not talking about the constant vibrator sounds either. I'm talking about this thing's speaker just screaming at you. <laughs> hey, I noticed you were engaging in a horrific cosmic battle full of deafening gunfire and roaring monsters, so would it be helpful to announce when your alt fire is ready by yelling right into your penis? All that combined with next-gen diarrhea Christmas lights, the likes of which I never thought possible to survive, make shootouts in Returnal a f***ing 4D experience, even for backseat gamers like me. I am. Oh, I am shit, did I do shook. it? We give Returnal our highest recommendation, but only to gamers who aren't little babies that wear diapers with poop in their diaper and cried when Sekiro didn't have a baby mode for babies and played Last of Us 2 on very easy baby mode but said, Joel, death was still too hard. It hurt their baby feelings. It also couldn't beat the Valkyrie Queen with all that pee pee in their diaper. In conclusion, Returnal's awesome. Get good, scrubs. 18 deaths. Kiss my but my boyfriend's the best. We're the ones. We're the gamer people. But you know who isn't a sad widow baby? Anyone protecting their internet privacy using NordVPN. Listen up, gamers. It's time we had a talk. You need to be taking your online safety seriously, okay? With NordVPN, all of your internet data stays safe and cozy behind a big wall of next-gen encryption. Good luck, hacker man. NordVPN has a strict Nunday business policy. There are no logs, meaning they don't track, collect, or share your data because it's Nunday business. And they don't care how many times you're Googling big vampire mommy. Choose from over 5,400 servers in 59 countries. That's so many servers. What I like best about NordVPN is how fast the connection is. I'm living in the fast lane. I don't have time for grandpa VPN slowing me down. Take control of your internet experience today with NordVPN. And right now, get a two-year plan at a huge discount at nordvpn.com slash girlfriendreviews and use code girlfriendreviews to get one additional month free. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, that's nordvpn.com slash girlfriend reviews to keep your internet experience safe and sound.